So I, all right. And I'll let people in as they're coming in. But yeah, again, just wanted to say thank you all so much um, for um, volunteering, for your time with us. I am going to share my screen and then we're going to go through, I think the best way to do this is go through the host packet. Um, can you see the host packet, my screen? Yes. Okay, great. And um, I can go through this. And then at the end, if you have any questions, I'll take, you know, all questions um, at the end. But everyone will receive a host packet. So there's 15 minutes before each session begins. And that's designed so that people can move around, have time to move around, go to the bathroom, get something to drink. But it's also embedded that time for um, you all to be able to go to the reception desk. So the same place that you're going to be picking up your badge when you first get there is going to be the reception desk. And you will pick up a host packet from either myself or Sarah Whitman. And this is going to be like the first page of the host packet. Um, and so... Um, you will pick that up and then you will head to the session in which you're supposed to be in. And it's going to tell you exactly what location. So this is just a sample, but it's going to tell you the time, uh, just a reminder as to what the session is, and then also that room number. You're going to go there. And once you get there, you are going to introduce yourself to the speaker. The speaker should also be on their way there. Um, I would familiarize yourself with who's going to be there. And that will be listed right here in the, under the speaker category. So right now it's just a speaker name, title and organization. It'll list the speakers in your packet. And so familiarize yourself with the speaker. Um, we would ask that you would, as you introduce themselves, ask how they pronounce their name, um, get to know them, thank them for being there. And AV is also going to be walking around to all five sessions, including myself, to make sure that everyone has their PowerPoint slide up and ready to go on the correct laptop in the correct room. So we'll be making sure that that's happening as well. Um, we have everybody, I sent a message yesterday that at close of business day today, they needed to have their PowerPoint in the Dropbox so that we could upload their PowerPoint um, in the correct session room. But some of them may not do that. That's fine. They'll probably just be bringing it on a flash drive. And so we'll just be making sure that technology works. Um, you know, sound is working in the room, all of those things. And so you're just an extra person to make sure those things are happening. But just know AV is walking around as well, and as well as myself. And I think we're going to have three folks from our AV team um, that will be helping us for the two days. So if we're not in your session room yet, we will get there and we'll help with any um, issues that may that may arise. And so Again, you're going to go to the reception desk, you're going to pick up your packet, then you're going to head to the session room, introduce yourself to the speaker. If they have a PowerPoint, um, help them make sure that it's working. Once attendees start to arrive, you're going to collect their CE verification cards um, from attendees as they enter. And that's for everyone that's receiving their CEU credits. Um, they will have gotten that card from Sarah Whitman. So if somebody says, I don't have a CE card, what do I do? Send them back to the reception desk to pick that up. And so you'll have all of their attendee cards. Um, and so at the start of the session, um, you want to make sure, help the presenters to start on time um, and to also end on time. So you may need to give them a little hand wave in the back or um, you know, typically, you know, the speakers will be able to keep track of time, but just be mindful um, of the time and the space. So what we've asked that you all do is this, this is a change from last year. For those that volunteered last year, 
we used to have you give the name of the speaker, the title, the organization, and read a short bio about them. We've skipped the bio this year. So all you need to do is just say, thanks for joining us for F3, Storytelling of the Greater Good. And then I'd like to introduce you to the speaker, the name, title, and organization will be listed up here at the top. And then you can go ahead and have, have a seat. And then during the session, um, we want everyone to record the number of folks that attended the session. And you're gonna put that number right here at the top, at this blank. So just count how many people are there, put it at the top. Then towards the end of the session, um, you're gonna place the CE verification stickers on each card in the appropriate space. And it'll be very clear on the card where you're supposed to put that sticker. Um, if attendees arrive late or leave early, please write the time in which they came or they left because they can receive partial credit. So if they come half an hour late to the session, that's okay. We want to give them half the points for that session for attendance. So that time is very important. I'm gonna scroll down here just for a second. This is what the stickers will look like. So this is one sheet. So you'll peel off a sticker and then put it on their verification card. <clears throat> then at, after the session, um, you wanna thank the speakers for coming. Um, Again, we really appreciate the time that it has taken. They've put a lot of work into these sessions. Um, so just thank them um, for us on our behalf. Would be We would really appreciate that. Remind attendees to complete their evaluation. And so every packet, this is a change from last year, every packet will have a QR code where people can scan, come to you, and they can scan this QR code to complete the evaluation. They will also find their evaluation in the app, which we're using for the first time this year. Every single session has a evaluation attached to, the, attached to that session. So I would highly encourage you before next week, if you haven't done so already, to download the app. It's live so that you can familiarize yourself with it in case people have questions about the app. You'll have it downloaded. You can show them right where the link is to click on the evaluation. If for some reason there's somebody who is uncomfortable using the app, not wanting to use the app for whatever reason, this is an alternative way for folks to be able to complete the evaluation by scanning this QR code. So again, this will be in your packet. And then the last thing that you need to do, which is very important, is you need to return the CE cards to the attendees. Otherwise, we'll have to find people. So just remember, they're going to give you their CE card in the beginning of the session. You're going to put the sticker on it, and then you're going to give it back to them at the end of the session. And then you're going to return the whole session envelope that you received in the beginning back to registration. And then that's it. Um, I have my number. This is my personal cell phone number here. So if you have any technical issues with, um, you know, a PowerPoint slide or sound or the room is too cold or the room is too hot or someone gets sick in a session or anything that happens that um, you know, you need help with, please contact me. I'll have my phone with me on all day. Allison will as well. I know that many of you have Allison's number too. Um, feel free to call us um, at any time if there's anything, you know, that's happening that you're uncomfortable with, or again, that you need help with, and we'll be right there. So that is really the volunteer um, checklist, again, all of this for your reminder is going to be in this uh, packet that we will give to you. CE, specific CE information, if you need that as a reminder and you get questions, is also going to be 
in your packet. Again, these will be the sticker labels that will be in your packet. Um, and then further instructions. This is what the card looks like, just so that you're familiar with the card that people will be handing to you. So again, if you're volunteering for a G session, you would just put the sticker in session G. So it's very self-explanatory. Self and that's it. So I will stop sharing and answer any questions that anybody has. Yes, Michelle. Did anyone else have trouble downloading the app? I have an iPhone and I tried it a couple of times and I was unsuccessful. So just- Oh, good me. to know. Yeah, has anybody else had any, any issues with that? Didn't. No, I had I trouble at work, it. but I think it was just my network connection. When I got okay. it home, it was okay. Okay, I tried at home um, okay. and at work, but I'm in a different location now. I'll try it again, but I put in, the YAP, um, L, whatever it is, the, the letters, and then 2023, and it nothing came up. Okay, that's good to know that I have an iPhone. I didn't have any trouble. Okay. Um, but if I still do, maybe we trouble, can go ahead we and work to... on it on Monday together. No, we definitely want to know because certainly you won't be the only one <laughs> that will have trouble. So thank you for sharing that. Um, and Please, if anybody else has any trouble, let us know about down, when you download the app. Um, hey, Sarah. Um, I'm sorry I came a little bit late, but are we introducing the speakers? Yes. In the room? Okay. And the just introducing them this year by name, title, and organization. You're not okay. reading off a, a, a bio of them. Yep. Great. Awesome. Any other questions? Well, here's a little one. So, Hi, hey, Sarah, this was incredibly organized as expected. Um, just wanted to, so if we're hosting more than one session, I assume we could pick up both of our packets at the same time and save 600 steps in that. <laughs> that yes, that's a great question. Yes, especially if your sessions are back to back. Yeah, they'll be ready to go. Um, certainly, if you some of you are are volunteering for multiple sessions, um, like five or more, you know, you don't have to take the whole stack, you know, the whole stack for the whole day or anything like that. But certainly, if they're back to back sessions, absolutely. Um, just tell Sarah Whitman when you go to pick up your packets, say I'm hosting for G and also H. Can I pick up both? And that's absolutely fine. Yep. Great. Anything else? Okay, great. Well, I will be um, there very early on Tuesday. I'm staying Monday night as I think some of you are, um, but registration opens at 7.15. So the crack of dawn, we will have coffee and uh, breakfast ready for everyone at that time. So I'll be there very early. Um, so feel free to call me or contact me if you have any change or something comes up and you're not able to host your session for whatever reason. We know that things happen. It's okay. We'll have enough folks um, to be able to fill in. Just let me know um, when you're able. Um, but again, you have, you'll have my number. And I'm going to go ahead and put my number in the chat here so you all can... Um, Feel free to put it in your phone um, and then I can, um, I can help you if something comes up if, and I don't have my laptop. Um, and I will also put my work number as well in the chat, which also then comes directly to my cell phone through Teams. So two ways to contact me if anything comes up and um, you need anything. Okay, anything else?